It's that time of year again. Not Christmas, not the New Year's, but top programming languages of 2021 type tier list videos. And anytime I see these videos, I can't help but chuckle a little bit. I'll see tier list videos like, that's right everyone, I'm giving the B programming language my bottom tier spot. Hot take of the year. Next up is COBOL. COBOL, I think I'm gonna give the second lowest spot of the year, but you can make almost $300,000 a year using COBOL in 2021. So we're gonna bump it up to the top tier spot. That's right everyone, learn COBOL in 2021. They're just not realistic, but guess what? I am here once again to defunct your favorite tech YouTubers. Technology tier lists are pointless, and there's really no such thing as the best programming language of the year or the best stack ever. The best technology is the technology that works for you, your team, your product, your company, and that varies widely across the industry. However, I do think there are a few caveats, so here's my practical advice for what programming languages you should use and learn. Now, number one, learn a practical technology that's relevant to the industry today. I hope this would be obvious to most people, but learn a technology that is relevant and marketable today in the industry. Technologies that aren't used widely or ancient technologies just aren't going to be marketable. There's no jobs for them. Now, there's no problem learning a technology, a stack, a language that is interesting to you for your personal knowledge. But if you're mostly targeting something that will get you a job or be useful in the industry, target something that's relevant to today. Which leads me to number two, check the Stack Overflow developer survey. Every year, Stack Overflow surveys all the engineers and technologists that use Stack Overflow, which are a lot of people, and kind of surveys the industry and what technologies people are actually using in the industry. This is really powerful information to tell you what is marketable today and tell you what kind of jobs are out there and what kind of technologies are emerging as marketable in the industry. It'll tell you what developers are using, what developers like, even what different stacks pay. So for example, here are the 2020 results. We can see that JavaScript is one of the most marketable languages today. And surprise, surprise, probably will be far into the future. It's what makes the web run. And another segue into my final point, here's my actual practical advice for what technology you should learn in 2021. Like I said, if you don't know JavaScript already, you should probably pick up a little bit of JavaScript. The web runs on it, even a lot of backend servers run on some kind of JavaScript. Although I hate it. Why is Node a thing? <laughs> if you're looking for a new backend language or stack to look into, look at Go and Kubernetes. Kubernetes is gonna be the platform of the future that containers and everything runs on. And Go is a popular language to write Kubernetes controllers. And finally, for operating systems and embedded programmers, I think Rust would actually be a really good technology to get into. It's becoming extremely popular among C enthusiasts, and I think it's really, really powerful. I've really been enjoying learning it. I think Rust will be a really popular choice for jobs in the future. And that's it. No need for a 10, 15 minute video. That's my practical advice. So best of luck in 2021. Thank you for watching and happy coding everyone. I will catch you next time.